everyone and welcome back to Silent Hill Origins Part 6 where I spent a little bit of time catching up to where I was last time uh, before I died uh, and then had to restart everything. So um, we're in this lovely area in the Riverside Motel. So we've done all of this stuff. We've got the key to the office, the manager's office, which is all the way up there. And uh, to save myself the heartbreak of uh, potential death, I have already cleared out the alleyway of which I died in, um, which was two enemies, and uh, cleared them out much easier uh, than I did before. Um, so, you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, we will enjoy wheeling a shotgun, uh, but we are not going to interact with this guy out here. I really wish this... Uh, really wish more than anything in this world, that when I actually press the LB to face forwards, that it faced forwards when I was like facing this way. It does it only when there's like enough space. But if I do it when I'm over here and I try it, it doesn't work. Because the camera apparently can't go, uh, the camera apparently just won't go behind me in moments like that. So it's, uh, it's really unfortunate that we don't just have like the, the freedom that the uh, Silent Hill like 2 camera gave us, for example, and even Silent Hill 3, um, they were just, they were just much nicer. Here you go. I present to you the corpses of the enemies that I destroyed. Ooh, I've got some creepy atmospheric noises going on right now. I like that. Oh, there's a guy right here, isn't there? Ooh, Unrealistic monster movements! Unrealistic monster movements. Not a fan. Hello! Woo! Hello, team. I'm out of here. We're getting straight into business today. Carrying on from where we left off. So, into this office. And then into the manager's office. Which I think was... Yes, here. Is there anything that I, um... What's that? This looks like an object that I can interact with. Hold on. What's this thing? Ooh, there's a rotary calendar here. Take a look. Oh, there's a calendar. I was like, this item is standing out more than other things. Oh, dude, you know what this is? This is the calendar that we looked in. Uh, this is the calendar that had the circle on, on the, uh, the letter 12. Uh, when we were peeking, last episode, we were peeking through the walls. Uh, it was the 12th. Uh, what? Month was it? No, I specifically remember this because I was having a look because it doesn't tell you the month on the calendar, but it has a certain number of days, and it the number of days that it went up to on the calendar was 29. Which means February in a leap year. Because otherwise it's 28. 29 days in a leap year. So this is actually, the, it's the 12th of February, but I don't know the year. I don't, I don't know the year. The year 4013. I don't know. Does it save my progress? It does. Alright, we need to figure out the year. You know what, actually? Considering we got... We looked in the hole in the thing and we saw the February the 12th. And then we got the office key shortly after. Potentially, this office key might hold the secret to the year. Let's... Oh, shit. I can't even see what the thread is. What is it? Oh, it's that thing. Why aren't I stepping on it? Thank you. I was like, why aren't you stepping on it, sir? Please. God damn. God damn. Alright. Um, that's good. Love a threat that you can't even see as soon as you enter a room. Christ alive, one of the cleaners called me over, uh, said there was something wrong with room 500. Door was open inside, sweet Jesus, stench made me puke. The kid, man, the kid, 
just stood there. They said he'd been there for 10 hours. I ended up crying my eyes out. Shit like this shouldn't happen. The police have got the room. Locked up for now. I'm going home. Dude, this is about Travis. Travis was in that room for 10 hours when something happened with his father. Nothing of use. Oh, but you bet this filing cabinet's of use. Okay. So that's like a police report, but it's not like... It's not giving me a... It's not giving me a year, you know? <laughs> Stuffed animals, this kind of thing makes me feel bad. You want to make this truly a horror game? Have this fish just come alive and do the whole, like, singing a song thing. I'm a fish and I'm stuck on the wall. Alright. Where are we now? Oh, alright. Brand new area. The 100s. Laundromat. Kitchen. Which then goes into the diner, and the bar, and the deck, and the game room. Oh man. And then we- Oh yes, because I think it was the Rose- yeah, the Rose Suite. The Rose Suite had Lisa's jacket in it. And some syringes. That was that was an interesting uh, that was an interesting thing in there. So we have to check these out. Oh, the pool's in the shape of a love heart, just diagonal, this way. Um, good stuff. All right, I'm figuring this out. More to the motel. I can open this gate. Oh my god, there's just big dudes everywhere. There's just big dudes everywhere. I mean, sure, if you want to face the other way, that's fine. I mean, I'm not going to... I'm not going to judge. Anything that slows you down from charging me. Oh, shit. It's another one of you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. Ooh, I got the Redeemer, okay. Guns! I got some Redeemer ammo. Okay. Let me just check this one out. A heavy, reliable six-shooter has Redeemer etched on its side. I'm pretty sure, in terms of ammo, We've got 12 bullets in total. And that's that's what it looks like. Bam! We're saving that for the boss fights. We're saving that for the boss fights. I need to get into the habit of doing this when I am not in combat. I don't like doing it when I'm in combat because I like being able to pause my inventory and actually have a look. But because of that, I tend to forget that I have the ability to do this shit. Especially with like melee stuff. It's quite handy, to be honest. Especially when you keep picking up crates everywhere. Okay. 108. Complete. Let's check this one. Broken. Oh. Alright. This is getting tiring. You guys are in every room. Do you think there's some weird sort of, uh, with, with this monster in particular being at a motel, do you think this one is sort of like a sexual monster in nature? Like, two people engaged in a sexual act, and then they're like, joined together? That's how I'm interpreting these things, is they're sort of like, conjoined bodies. And I mean, it's, it's in a motel setting. I think that could be what these monsters represent. And again, I'm always I'm all down for the for the new and interesting designs in Silent Hill instead of Hey, remember this guy? He was pretty creepy in that game. Now he's in this game too. Um so I I, I like it when I'm getting something unique unique that I don't necessarily know what to, how to deal with it. Where is this? Ah, oh, I'm like, where the fuck? Gosh, why? Why? 
Why would the camera do me like that? Haha, <laughs> plank of wood? Hell yes. Nothing like a plank of wood. Ooh, you know what this means? You know what this means? You know what this means? This is the work of the butcher, which by the way, at the end of last episode, we looked through the peephole when he was stood there in that room that we came out of. Um, he was not in that room. I went in there uh, on my way back here and uh, he was not in that room. So they, uh, we got swindled. A monster, someone's gone to town on it with a knife. No, oh, I thought that I was actually gonna successfully avoid that guy. Get off of me. Goddamn quick time event. Get off of me. I'm a I'm a I'm the I'm a lover, not a fighter. He didn't even go down on one shotgun bullet. Yeah, take that. I'm a lover, so Is the noise coming from this? There's a noise, and it sounds like it's coming from this, but I cannot interact with this at all. The atmospheric creepy, like, random sounds and stuff are like, they're on point in the motel. They're, they're very, they're very good. They're effective. Which is awful. Because it's effective. <laughs> Containers full of trash. I'm not desperate enough to look through these. Alright, let's see if the butcher's in here. Ah, oh, okay, here we go. Is this gonna be a fight with the butcher this time, though? Interesting pig squealing. <laughs> all right, it's a bu mm, I didn't see anything. Um, all right, cool. Butcher boss fight, good stuff. I was wondering when this was going to happen because it was like the first time we encounter him, he you know shows up, does the cool stuff, and then leaves. Um, this is. I feel like they're mirroring Silent Hill 2 in multiple ways with this. Uh, they're definitely uh, giving us a similar design, except not as iconic. I mean, this guy's just got a butcher knife and he's got half of a helmet on. Uh, you can't beat the design of Pyramid Head. Um, so it's a bit of a copy and paste. He's like, hey, can I have a look at your homework? Sure, just don't copy it. And this is what it looks like. Um, and it's similar how our first encounter is like just like a weird sort of introduction to it. Um, and then we fight him later. Although, you know, when you're fighting Pyramid Head, the bullets are hitting his helmet and you're going like, holy shit, he's bulletproof because this is the bulletproof sound and we're not actually doing anything to him. Um, that's like, he's a really intense character. This guy, however, he's like, a little bit imposing. It's, it's, it's interesting to see the trail leading up to him. But ultimately, he's just like a pyramid head clone, right? And there you go. So, he, when we make noise, when we shoot him, it's actually making blood and stuff. So, we know that we're doing damage to this boy. Oh shit, I was on the other side of the, I was on the other side of the table, but sure. Okay, you have been quick time evented, sir. Give me that, meat gaff. Oh shit. This is a time that we would use the redeemer, right? Why is the music going weird? I lost the music. Oh shit, I'm reloading. Oh, I was running away. I forgot that I can reload in the in the pause. I can reload while paused. I can reload while paused, guys, it's fine. We're running out of shotgun ammo actually. 
So what if... What if we do the assault rifle instead? Alright, you're not going to aim at it? Oh. Oh, he went down too. He went down on the ground. Oh, we, we take it. We taken it? Are we taking the knife? All right. Oh shit, Travis! Man double tapped. I mean, you should have gone for the head. You know, should have gone for the head. I thought we were gonna keep the knife, but holy shit, Travis, that was brutal. And this is why the butcher is a little bitch because the pyramid head would have gone, ha ha, you shot me and you don't even know if you actually did damage. Now I'm going to randomly just go down into the water that is disgusting and not even drown. Goodbye. This guy, he's on the ground. I don't think we've seen the last of him, but man, just, he went down like a, like a dork. This is one of those monsters. I think it's dead. Sounds like a pig too. Interesting. I think we have not seen the end. I don't think we've seen the end of Butcher Boy. And that can probably be attributed to the fact that Travis did not do the smart thing and put the knife in his head. You know, he was like, yeah, we'll just put it in him. Still brutal, though. Alright, ready? Let's go back in. Is his body still there? Right, ready? Fuck. Okay, I was expecting his body to be disappeared. And I was like, Haha, he got up and he left. Is it like... Is it too nitpicky of me to say that I feel like Team Silent would have did, did, did that? They would have had the body get up and disappear. I'm just being an asshole. Just don't mind me. <laughs> I actually think the atmosphere of the motel is pretty pretty awesome. Let's read the letter. To my absent wife, I know that whatever hell I am enduring, yours is worse. But damn it, this is so hard. It's like you're dead, but you're not. The hell and I loved is gone, but your body is still here. I've slept alone for the far last two years. I've become so bitter, so sleazy. I'm no father to Travis. I can't even look at him some days. What is it going to take to bring you back? Yours forever, Richard. I don't know. I don't know any of the songs on this jukebox. Uncultured swine. Is there going to be anything that gives me an inkling to the year? Potentially I might already know if I have a look through some previous files and I can get like the year. We will just have to wait and see. There's still more of the motel to discover. So I, I feel like we have... <laughs> I feel like we've discovered the... Um... We've got the date, you know, and, you know, all things considered, the, the month and day, but we are chasing the year. We are now out in this area, so the bar, the deck, game room, these suites, and the pool with a love heart in it. Ooh. Soundtrack check. God damn. Good shit, dude. Ugh. Alright, love heart in the pool. Ah. I can see something shining at the bottom of the pool. This looks like a Resident Evil image to me, right? This is like a Resident Evil thing. You know, when you're walking through and you go, Oh, I see something down there and it's like some like weird shaped jewel thing. This is like Resident Evil to me. got to drain the pool. Alright, let's try the bottom doors first. Yeah, this music is great. Is it the sex monster? It is. Oh, shit. I was like, look, mate, I wanted to try and use something that wasn't the shotgun, but you've given me absolutely no choice, have you? Jesus. Okay, that seems to be the general thing that we're going to be dealing with in these rooms is those. And they can just bombard us with vomit. What type of ammo is this? Maybe I should start using a rifle. 
I like that the music doesn't stop when you go inside the uh, rooms. That would be such a mood killer. The fact that it just continues through this area is good. It's very good. We gotta figure out how to get into there. Is this gate open, you reckon? Oh, it takes me into that area. Nope. Okay. That is a locked gate. We can also go up the stairs and check the rooms up above. Hey, you're one of these guys. You're not one of the fucking weird dudes. Which means this guy was probably, you know, alone. He came here to knock one out on his own. See, he's got the toilet roll in the bin. Man came here to do one thing, and one thing only. Wank to empty cages, right? That's that's his thing. He was like, ooh, empty cages really, really do it for me. Makes me sort of think about my, uh, my repressed emotions in a cage. I'm thinking too deep into it. We, we know this. We know this. Silent Hill's made to be analyzed, guys. Oh yeah, these are these. Okay. I feel like these are important, or like the the main kind of rooms that we should look at, which means leave them till later. So I'll check everything else first. So let's have a look at the bar. Classic. Don't know what I expected. I mean, I know that it'll change once we probably find a mirror and go to the other world. I got a pool cue. 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 And guys, what's this? I got a pool cue. The ping pong machine is playing itself. I don't know any of the songs on this jukebox either. God damn it, Travis. I only smoke when I'm happy. Okay, edgy. Only smoke when I'm happy. Fuck off, Travis. I don't want to smoke right now, because again, only smoke when I'm happy. Fucking air hockey, dude. Do we have to play a pinball game right now? I don't think it's switched on. This one is. I got a token. Are we about to fuck around and play pinball right now on Route 777? The pinball machine isn't working. What do you mean? Fucking, I'm, I'm about to use this token. We probably have to use this for something else. This wouldn't be in supplies, Chris. Uh, a token with laundromat written on it. Alright, we have to use the laundromat token. Nice. Uh, which... Is... There. Oh, we have to get there from... Oh, there's a door there that I missed. There was a note about the laundromat as well, of like what we actually have to do. Oh! Have some money for the pinball? Yes. Yes. About this afternoon. It's okay. I just want to play the pinball. Sure. There. I'm going back to the room for a little while. Wait for me here. And that is when he probably killed himself. Is what I'm assuming, based on the fact that Travis was left in the body alone, uh, with the body alone, and it was like. 10 hours, something like that. Ooh, hang on. Lucrezia, Nero, Cleopatra. We got some even, we got some spicy rooms up here too. Damn it. Of course. Jammed. Okay, that one's locked. All right, we gotta go into Cleopatra at some, at some point. Fucking goddamn. Um, someone has pointed out that this, which is what I've mentioned and, like, kind of stated as well, is, like, this game gives you really large areas, but, I mean, it's a PSP title primarily, so it, it even has more limiting options than it did have on the PS2. Like, so many doors are locked and blocked. So you get given these huge areas, but they're actually quite small with, like, what we actually do in them. Sort of deal you come all this way for a blocked lock. A blocked door. Yep. 
Yep. It's just like, god damn. There's only so many times you can do this before checking doors get stale. And this is not a Silent Hill Origins problem, this is a Silent Hill problem in general. This is a criticism of it, all Silent Hill games so far, is uh, Team Silent are also, um, you know, victims of this. And it's, a, and it's like a situation where it's like, well, what can you do? Either you just remove a bunch of doors in places where it would make sense to have the doors, or you just put, you know, locked doors there. Because the other alternative is um, you can just, like, block the door with another wall. Just make the, the areas smaller. I don't know. Regardless, it's laundromat time. This is a loading screen. And then I'm also thinking, maybe, because we're supposed to be here with the token, I'm actually going to change my mind and maybe check these other rooms. Let me check these rooms out. Maybe the using doing something with the laundromat will, like, drain the pool. Broken. Oh, dude. It's broken or jammed. We are actually just not going in there at all. And that's jammed. So the only one, the Cleopatra one, which is upstairs. I would have sworn that we would have ended up in that Rose one with uh, Lisa. I guess that's just like a little thing that you can inspect, but actually miss. All right. Who kept the machine running? All right, we've unlocked that. All right. Let's read the the laundry machine won't open, but I can see something metal inside. The machine is turned off. Did it say turned off? Hmm. Seems like it's turned on to me, buddy. Uh, let's read the note. Duty log? No. Uh, janitor's note. One of the laundry machines is busted. Weird guy in Cleopatra. There you go. Because we have to go in there. It was shouting at me. Wanted me to go fix it, but I couldn't leave the reception. Anyhow, after getting all red in the face, uh, the fella just ran off, hasn't been back since, up and drove off. Could you take a look at the machine when you get a minute? Stick a token in it and do the reset thing. Set it to low spin, 60 wash, drain, then pre-rinse. Put anything you find inside in the lost and found. Okay. I put the token in the laundromat, the machine is on. Yes, and now I have to do the thing. I love that I have to actually select the thing. Uh, fucking, they don't even, there's no text, dude. There's no fucking text. Low spin, 60 wash. Drain, then pre-rinse. Low spin, 60 wash. Drain, then pre-rinse. What's low spin, guys? Alright, that's the fan. That's the drain. That's a spin. That's a no spin. And that's the amount of water. Alright, hold on. This is... Look. Look. <laughs> you try using a washing machine, alright? Set it to low spin. What is 60 wash, though? <laughs> I don't know what 60 wash refers to. And then you drain it. And then pre-rinse. Why would you pre-rinse it after you drain it? What do you mean? <laughs> Fucking gun ain't. Alright. Um, low spin, which I think is this. Okay. 60. What's 60 wash, dude? Is it that one? Is it this one? Is it that one? 30, 60, 90? Let's try the middle one. When in doubt, try the middle one. Fucking, I don't know. 
um, and then you drain it and then do a pre-rinse. Or is that the pre-rinse? Fuck, I don't even know, man. That's a spin. This is like a fan. I don't think we do anything. What's that? Is that the 60 wash? And then we drain it? And then what's the pre-rinse? Like maybe the, the, the smallest one. If they had some text. This is the dumbest puzzle ever. Um, <laughs> fuck, what do the buttons mean, Mason? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, why, why would we get to a point in this game where I would get stuck on the washing machine? Low spin. 60 wash. What does 60 wash refer to, man? Is this an American washing machine terminology? Am I supposed to just understand the buttons by their icons? Because I don't. I've washed clothes before, guys. I swear to God. <laughs> they just... what Normal washing machines have goddamn words on them. Low spin, 60 wash, drain, and then pre-rinse. I'm confident in the drain button, at least. The pre-rinse, however, it just weirds me out that you would drain it and then pre-rinse it. That doesn't... So this, this seems like a fan. Oh, actually, is that a spin? Oh, that might be a spin. Hold on a minute. Maybe that's the spin. Then what's that? That sounds like a spin to me. It's even got like the circle thing going around, like a spin. And that's like a wash. Or is that a pre-rinse? Is that a motherfucking pre-rinse? This seems like it would be a... just gonna sit here and press random button combinations until I get it probably because this is actually a little bit ridiculous <sighs> guide to symbols everybody is right behind me just very blended in with the environment but look okay so here's the thing we were close on the 60 degree thing. We got the 60 degree thing. We got the drain. Um, I just got everything else wrong. Um, but now I know what to do. Okay. So we do a low spin, 60 degree wash, drain it, and then pre-rinse it. Okay. So we, we, know what we, we know what we're doing now. We know what we're doing now, okay? This guy. And then this guy. Yep. And then this guy. And then this guy. Yes! We got the Cleopatra key, baby. There you go. If only I, like, looked right behind me and saw the actual guide to the dishwasher. That would have really helped, because then they put words to symbols. <laughs> okay, so the, the washing machine did not end up draining the pool. 
I, w I was going to comment on, like, if it did, that would be a terrible system to have in a motel. You're just, like, using the laundromat and it, like, to the water that it uses to wash the clothes is from the pool. <laughs> so you turn the washing machine on, it just drains the whole pool while everyone's in it. And then it drains the water back out, so the pool just gets filled with dirty laundry water. Perfect idea. Recycling. Cleopatra key. Anyone order a fucking portable TV? It won't open. Just some old magazines. Okay, the Cleopatra room. What's so special about the Cleopatra room? Ooh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Cause of death, snake bite. What the fuck? Can hear a woman crying. Oh shit. Oh shit. The bottom of the tub is broken and opens into the room below. Jump down. Silent Hill and jumping in holes, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. Oh, this jumps down into the Rose Room. Okay. This is where Lisa is. Okay, we do get in here. Right on, dude. There she is. Oh, fuck! That's Dr. Kaufman! Travis. <laughs> Nobody's gonna question how I got in here? You have a habit of popping up where you're not wanted, Mr. Grady. Isn't it time you left town? Yes, that's what I've been saying. Try harder. Dr. Kaufman! Interesting. I'm gonna have to analyze their. Uh, I'm gonna have to analyze their relationship in the first game because I didn't pick up on anything like that at all. And yes, I know this game was not made by Team Silent, and they have changed some things, and it's probably going to be some, you know, probably gonna be some weird retconning or additional information that contradicts the first game but um, it's an interesting choice that they were like yeah Lisa is doing that with Dr. Kaufman and I was like yeah okay interesting choice some white powder I try to stay away from this type of thing mate what's wrong with a little bit of whiz fizz just a bit of just a bit of the old sherbet you know tastes good whiz fizz dude some white powder and then they were like, yep, let's just really show it to you. Why didn't they invite me? I would have loved to have uh, partaked in the uh, in the ingestion of the of the sherbet. Oh shit. Of course. There's a mirror here. God damn, hang on, I'm not ready. Alright, this is our this is our way to check everything else out. I wonder what the pool looks like in the other world. Interesting. And the music stopped because I did that. Oops. Alright, what's this? Kaufman, we are almost ready, but must hurry. I sense our hold on her power weakening. I worry that she draws strength from the core. I hold. I will leave it behind, hidden in this darkness. It will be safe. Grady is unlikely to return here. He is still running around town, chasing after ghosts. He's ignorant of the bigger picture anyway. I will wait for you here, finish your business, finish your business, and join me soon. The time approaches, the flower ross is shattered, thrown to the wind, and her will is still buried deep in a sleeping mind. This time the ritual will succeed, Dahlia. Um, yes, okay, this is what I was saying, is I feel like these pieces that we're picking up, Future, past, falsehood, whatever. They're pieces of the thing, which I think, I guess, I've forgotten the name of it, is the Flaros. Am I right? Or am I wrong? I can't exactly remember. Silent Hill 1's a bit fuzzy to me at the moment. I can remember most of it. 
but the finer details and the names of things, they really escape me. Um, but I think that's correct. Is that it looks like we're rebuilding that thing, and Dahlia ends up with that thing. Does she not? In Silent Hill 1? Looks like Travis is, like, doing the stuff that, like, will set up the events of the first game. But, because, yeah, Kaufman... Dahlia and all that shit. They were all in on all in on it, and that's why Kaufman's going, <laughs> what girl, Travis? Go back to your truck. Don't you have a job to do? Alright, we have to do we have to do the mirror. Yep, that camera angle switch with this th thumbstick. 3D controls, baby. Alright. Let's switch to the switch to the other world. And see how see how this goes. And um, before we before we look into this room, because I don't know what to expect, I'm just going to take a quick little break, and then we will resume. All right, shall we continue? We'll check the other world version of the lovely Rose Suite, and now we can explore all of this area, <laughs> which will be interesting. Oh, hello. Oh, yep, I forget you projectile vomit. Oh, and you charge. Right, this is why this is such an issue for me. Thank you. Goddamn, fella. My, my guy. That's quite rude. See? But see what I mean, right? Okay? So, it is to be insinuated that Dr. Kaufman and Lisa were getting on the drugs and getting on the sex... And this monster is in the other. Is here, you know. This is the one that I was like, yeah, they're, they're a bit sexual in nature. They are a bit. Um, and there you go. Here they are, chilling in this version of the of the room. Ooh, another Polaroid. Cause of death: overdose. We've got snake bite and overdose. And a tire iron. No, a meat hook. Sure thing. Whatever you say, boss. Now, oh god. Oh boy. Alright, it's spicy out here. Let's have a look. Uh, let's check the other... Yep. And, yep. Okay, that removes that. Check the game room. The game room does not exist. Cool. Check the bar. Bar also does not exist. Let's check the diner. The diner does exist. Ooh, okay, hold on. Lovely. Oh, can we interact with this? It's like a padlock. No. Oh, we can interact with this. I got the ornamental dagger. Jesus, okay, so that's a little bit sacrificial. Interesting. What? Oh, hang on. Wrong door. I thought I just got locked out. <laughs> I, like, locked in. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I got confused. Alright, the laundromat doesn't exist. These rooms do exist. Okay. What's that? Is that something? It looks like an item. No, it's not. Trick of the eye, perhaps. The other world music is much less obnoxious right now, which is good. I don't know what is what. I don't know what that is on the top of the screen there. Um, you may, and then you know, when stuff like this happens, it's like, man, you may as well have just had that room be locked. There's nothing in there. I'll take this though. The pool is empty in this version. How much rifle ammo are we sitting on now? Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking we should use it, finally. Rifle ammo, 44. Yeah, let's use the rifle. Let's give it a spin, shall we? Okay. Now let's check out the rooms on the side here. Yep. Yep. Lovely, that's done. 
cool okay so we can also now go upstairs and check the pool the pool obviously has the item that we need so we're going to avoid checking that out first and do everything that's like extra Ooh, this actually takes us up to a new okay yes I was hoping that would take you down in one hit um, and I'm assuming we can unequip the weapon in real time in that menu, but by the time I figure out how to unequip that, the dude is just going to stand up again. So we're just going to do a bit of that instead. Save bullets. Step on the nuts. That's how this, that's how this works. Ooh, there's a narrow slip cut into the door. We've got to put the ornamental dagger in there. Good shit. I like that. I'm gonna put a sword into a door. Yeah. Again, in, in a room that should have just been the door is locked. If they're rooms that just have no purpose, just lock them. It's fine. Ooh, hang on, where does this go? Ooh, we're actually able to go around this side in the other world version. Boy! Okay. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna leave you to your own devices for a second. Hold on. While I check these doors out. Oop, yep. All of these rooms so far serve no purpose in being accessible. They just exist to waste my time. That's good what we like to see. Alright, and then that will take us down to this side. Alright, cool. Um, if that's the case, I'm going to go get this love heart now. Looks like there's some stairs. Nice. I got the jeweled heart. Potentially might need to put that in the room that we shove the sword in to the door, maybe? I don't think we've come across anything so far that said put the jeweled heart in me. Maybe let's examine the item. Jeweled heart. When shaken, I can hear something rattling around inside. Can't open it though. Oh, camera angle. You will forever be the death of me. Alright, something is rattling around inside. Ooh, I'm going to ignore that for a second. Because it wants us to go around this side. We're doing all of this to try and get into that room 500, right? We're doing all of this to get into room 500. Oops, I forgot to unequip the, the thing. Gotta get in there. Ooh, good camera angle. Okay, this is blocked off. Cool. Alright, we now know exactly what we are to do. And that is... Sword in the door. Love heart question mark. Unsure. Alright. Gotta stop pressing the start button. Gotta start using the select button. <laughs> Fucking stock sword sound effect. Whooshing! Which is a shame because Silent Hill, right? I'll use Silent Hill 2 as the prime example. It has such insanely good sound effects that are all very unique to that game. Like, they are just like. When you hear those sound effects, you're like, man, I have just never heard those in my life before and never will again. I always am taken out of the moment where I hear a stock sound effect. I'm like, oh, that's the that's the classic old creaky door opening noise. God damn it. Why'd you have to use that? Ain't you ever heard of Foley? Ain't you ever heard of just putting a microphone to your own door, man? <laughs> I used the ornamental dagger. Now we can go in. See, I'd much pre I much prefer this type of otherworld music where there's a bit of like some cool creepy vocal stuff instead of just like 
like just crashing down on me like constantly on like this repetitive thing. Ooh, we got another cause of death. Cause of death, stabbing. Hence, sword. So, so far we've got snake bite in Cleopatra room. Uh, we've got the overdose in the drug room. Where, uh, you know, some drugs were. And then... Stabbing in the sword that we, in the door that we shoved the sword in. So... I see, I, I see what they're doing. Nice. Got a meat cleaver that had uh, made its way. Oh, there's a ragged hole there that drops down to the room below. No. Give me a second. Hang on. This. Oh, okay. We're not supposed to check out. That, is that not a door? I guess it's just a piece of the wall. Okay, we're going down the hole. Where does the hole take us? Into the king suite. All right. We're jumping down into the king suite, dude. Point of no return. All right, what's in the? Oh, you know these these things that we find, like when you see like a room that's interesting, would be so much more effective if you didn't enter a room and it just go, huh, and then you run back out again because of the thumbstick. There's a broken hole in the wall here. Go through. Oh, that takes us into the ah oh, the other world version of the maintenance, which we haven't been in yet because this door is locked from that side. Oh baby, let me check the other world version. Can we look in these? Oh, oh, this is this is spicy. Oh shit, dude! Holy fuck! I think the motel. Um, this motel might be my favorite location so far. And I think it has handled a lot of other things really well. I think this is a high point of the of the game. This is a positive uh, section that I'm enjoying uh, quite a lot. I gotta say. We, we gotta give props to whenever there is stuff that I like and I enjoy because I don't want to nitpick or just pull this game apart purely because of oh, this game is, you know, not Team Silent. Like, if I'm enjoying things, I want to talk about it, and I think the motel is great. Cause of death. Oh, dude. Broken heart. This is Travis's father. Cause of death. Broken heart. No key? No way to enter the room? I guess we will just... proceed. One of these days, I've been like expecting to like look into like the peephole and it to pull a Walter Sullivan on me from like Silent Hill 4 where you look into the peephole and he's just staring at you. I was like, they really missed an opportunity there to give you like a scare of having like something creepy staring at you in the little peephole. Okay, can't go in storage, that's a no-go letter to a ghost there's no pretending now is there we both know that the thing at cedar grove isn't you huh you died the day you tried to kill our son when i brought your gift today when you smashed it i finally woke up i've been dreaming all these years kidding myself that you'll be right one day that the helen i loved is dead I try to remember how it was all those years ago today when we got married. I can't remember anymore. I'm tired. I know Travis will be fine on his own. Wow. I'm going to see you again, Helen. Yours forever, Richard. Jesus. Well, hold on a minute. How does this door unlock again? It's locked. When I shake it, I can hear something rattling around inside. Part of me wants to be like, maybe there's a key inside. Uh, I feel like we've missed a step then. Hold on. We went into the king suite, out into the maintenance tunnel, died of a broken heart. Oh, actually, I know what we can do. No, actually, that doesn't make sense. What are we missing? 
can we maybe go into the manager's office? Um, no, we can't. Because we can't even get in there normally. Huh. I'm missing something. Because I'm supposed... Am I supposed to have something? F I'm supposed to have something for this door. But I don't. Lucky quarter, guys. Hmm. I would have assumed that maybe, like, that photo that would have had died of a broken heart would have had the key to the room. Am I missing something? Um. There's a whole section here. Interesting. Because there's no way back from there, because I dropped into that area. So if I go back in here... doesn't do anything. Interesting. The only thing that I could think that we could do now that this is apparently all dark, because we've been in here before in the normal world, the only thing that I can think of is follow this path around. What's the deal with this heart then? We still need to guess the... We still need to guess the year on the calendar. Let's go in here. Because maybe the answer lies... In the human version? I don't know. Maybe? Ugh, that thing scared me again. It's just this big dude. The door is wrapped up tight with the police tape and the lock has been broken off. I can't open it. So we know that. Oh, hang on. Oh, fuck. The camera. Yes. Hang on. Yeah, cool. We break it open. I smashed open the jeweled heart. There's something inside. Oh, it's the ring. I got the wedding ring. I think the ring has something engraved on its inside. Oh, it'll be the year. It's gotta be. It'll be the year. The wedding ring has a message engraved on its band. It reads, To my June bride, love forever. June. To my June bride. I can't even see the full text, man. Because the PSP is dumb. To my June bride. It doesn't say a year, though. It just says love forever. So maybe the month is the 12th of June. I thought it was the 12th of February, because 29 days. February 29th in a leap year. 12th of June. But what year? I think I'm going to just have to... I think I'm just going to have to run through and guess some years. Um, because if the, if the year... Oh, shit. If the year was left on that ring, and because it's the weird kind of PSP version that's giving me like an emulator glitch, um, I might have to just guess the years. I feel like maybe that's what it maybe wants us to do anyway because I don't think there's anything that I have left to do I don't think there's any loose ends or anything that I haven't looked at yeah so I'm just going to 
to 12th of June because the game said that it's the 12th of June because the 12th was circled in June on the wedding ring so I'm assuming that 12th he must have circled it to come here for a wedding anniversary and now we play a guessing game so calendar thingy what is this going to even do? Uh, 12th of June? Alright, maybe not the year 4000. Um, I feel like it's got to be 19 something, right? It's got to be 19 something. Like maybe like 19. Oh! I was like, was that 1960? It was 1960. <laughs> Fuck, I just, I just literally was like, I feel like it's going to be later, 1960. With the date set, secret compartment opens in the calendar, there's an empty circular depression. Oh, I put the wedding ring in. Um, I wonder if 1960 was somewhere else. I wonder if it was somewhere else. Maybe it was even on the calendar and it had the year and I didn't see it, which would have made zero sense. I honestly don't know. I used the wedding ring. Something dropped down the keyboard behind me. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it just appears. I got the room 500 key. I've got like this feeling that I might have missed something and potentially skipped a step that gave me the answer to that year, maybe? Because I was like, look, we've got, we've got two out of the three two out of the three numbers we could force the answer here <laughs> night so uh 12th of uh, 12th of june 1960 then there must have been something to give us the 1960 date somewhere else maybe i don't know to be honest i'll stop pondering is what we've got to focus on now. What we've got to focus on. Oh god, there's two of them now. Jesus. Fuck me. Oh, this thing, man. I swear to god, it's never going to stop making me jump. Um, okay. We go to the other world version. And now we can unlock it. I wonder what the reason is that we have to unlock it in the other world version. Fuck, last time we did this, it was a boss fight. Oh, fuck, what if it's his father? Oh, dude. We fought his mother, now we fight his father. Is that what's happening here? That's why it's the other... Oh, dude, that's why it's the other world version. Because we were in the other world when we fought the mother, and we're going into the room that his dad killed himself. We're going to confront our own father. That is it. That is another way to keep taking the game and keep doing stuff. Is to be like, haha, what if it's your own father? This is a guess. I use the room 500 key. Oh, we got a save. We got a save point before that one. We got a save point. I don't know, man, that means business. Oh my god. This is a Silent Hill 2 callback if I've ever goddamn seen one. This is such a weird blend of the Silent Hill things that we know, you know? They were like, hey, remember the staircase in the museum that takes you to the prison? Let's do that again. Yeah, dude. Except this time it's over the sh shoulder, like behind him. Oh, it's not actually, and it's also not anywhere near as long. <laughs> but it's there, that's definitely a reference. Oh fuck yeah, he's in the past. This is gonna be his dad. Fuck, he hung himself, dude. I won the game. Oh. I've got a quarter left. Oh. You want the quarter? Daddy, speak up. Oh, that's tragic. Peace, Daddy. 
I'm not sleeping, son. Oh! <laughs> Why did you stand there for so long? It wasn't right. Please, Daddy. It wasn't healthy, son. Daddy, this is insane. Time you- Oh, did Your mother and I will see you in heaven, son. That's some pretty fucking confronting imagery, dude. I didn't expect him to talk back. Like, you see him and he's like, I wasn't sleeping, son. Oh my god. And look at this thing. Oh man. Oh man. That's fucking. That is an image and a half, man. Like, having, like, not only the image of a person that's hung. He's still alive. You watch him die, forming into this. Oh my god. And then the body spasms, man. Body spasm horror. That's fucked. That's fucked. But cool, right? <laughs> this is a great part of this game, I feel. This part of the game specifically deserves, deserves some praise. Cause this is fucking, this is interesting as hell and creepy. And as soon as it clicked, I was like, oh yeah, fuck. Like his father confronting his father. He was just playing pinball, man. And he comes back and he's just like, hey dad, I won. I won the game. <laughs> fuck, dude. Uh, okay, let's fight this thing. Oh, danger noodles. Instant danger noodles. Oh, oh, I didn't even get a chance to move there. Oh my god. Oh, like shooting black blood at me, dude. Just gonna take a cup. Oh, I used an extra one. Oops. That's rude. My flashlight is dead. I used an extra health drink and I am upset. Oh god, man. I could still target him and like shoot him that whole time while he was dying, so I was like wasting ammo there because I didn't know that that was his death animation. I'd really like to know what this physically represents, like why this boss design uh, for the dad. Because the mother made sense, because the mother was in like a sanitarium and was in solitary confinement so her being in some sort of caged structure the way that it was made a lot of sense straight off the bat i'm trying to figure out what this represents because there's like two bodies next to him this is like some huge thing thing coming out i i don't know i don't know what this means so we've got the future piece the past piece the false something piece and this is the truth piece how is this even possible we've got four pieces now dad how could he do that to himself why won't you let me forget why are you doing this to me come out come out i've got your your thing for you <laughs> i've got your thing for you come out Happy. You've dug up my parents. What now? When do we get to look inside your sick little mind? And she puts us to sleep again. <sighs> All right, dude. Classic. This isn't right. This hasn't been right from the beginning, sir. Interesting. Ooh, I got some redeemer ammo. Where are we? 
I don't know. We got some beautiful music playing though. Interesting. Uh, medical supplies? Maybe we're in the hospital. Interesting. With that one, guys, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. Um, that was... My, that might just be my favorite part so far. That's definitely a highlight after some struggles and some low points of being like, oh man, what are you doing? Uh, this was fun. This was great. I actually heavily enjoyed the motel experience. Um, good Silent Hill stuff. Good Silent Hill stuff for sure. And being, confronting your own father. I like that. We've got four pieces so far. How many more pieces would there have been? I don't think there would be. Past, future, truth false maybe the piece maybe that's done and all that's left is put it to put it together which means there might not be another boss fight like you know on the way i'm just trying to think what could be the next boss fight you know what could be next we've done the mother we've done the father kill god <laughs> in classic silent hill fashion kill god <laughs> I can't wait to find out. Um, this has uh, this episode has uh, picked uh, picked me back up again, which I feel that I needed. So uh, definitely had a good time. Hope you guys did too. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of Silent Hill Origins, and I will see you next time. Thank you.